Jack Ebling and Dan Kilbridge here for our Spartan Tailgate All Big Ten Football Show. Dan, a lot of great performers, some tremendous performances, and I guess that's what you'd expect when you have three teams that are 11 and 1. Yeah, that just shows the strength of the Big Ten this year. Some very tough decisions, I thought, for the first team All Big Ten. Had to sit and think about a lot of them because there were so many deserving guys and maybe not as many stars as we've seen in years past, but just a lot of very good football players on some very good football teams. Well, let's start with the offense and the guys who really make it happen, the offensive line. And the Big Ten had some of the best offensive linemen in the country this year. Wisconsin had a bunch of them. Michigan State's played much better than people thought they would. Ohio State, Wisconsin are teams who always have good offensive lines along with Iowa. And I think, uh, yeah, there were some very good guys on there who could be good pros prospects in the years to come here. Well, we could just take the entire Wisconsin offensive line, put them out there. It seemed like they were gaining uh, big yards against everyone and moving the line of scrimmage. Michigan State, the only game where they really didn't dominate. Right, and you could do that, and I think you'd have a pretty good chance to beat whoever you were playing with those guys up front. I mean, obviously you score that many points, you're doing something right up front, and they were really able to sustain some long drives and get it done when it mattered this year. What about the five offensive linemen who stood out to you, uh, your first team offensive line? Well, I went with uh, center Mike Brewster from Ohio State, the junior. At guard, I have Joel Foreman, Michigan State, Stephen Wisniewski from Penn State. I've got Jeff Allen Jr. at my left tackle from Illinois, and Gabe Karami from Wisconsin. Those are two outstanding tackles, and I think that's a, a pretty good line to run with there if you want to get the football and pound it. I could gain yards behind that line. I, I have a little bit different take. I have Mike Brewster, the center from Ohio State, and I also have Ohio State tackle Mike Adams. That was a tough spot for me. I really wanted to pick three guards. Gabe Karimi is an automatic. I thought that he was uh, as good an offensive lineman as you're going to find anywhere in the country. He's going to be a terrific pro. But I had to choose between Justin Boren, the former Wolverine who went to Ohio State, uh, Stefan Wisniewski, and John Moffitt from Wisconsin. And I had to get a second Badger on the line, so I took John Moffitt and Stefan Wisniewski, and we'll work out the details of that, but those are the best offensive linemen that we found in 2010. What about your tight end? Tight end, I think, was a pretty easy choice for me. Lance Kendricks out of Wisconsin, he was outstanding all year. Uh, really replaced some great tight ends they've had in years past, and there wasn't much of a drop-off, maybe even you know a step above what he's been playing. I think he's going to be a great pro next year in uh, catching ability. He can block. Hurt Michigan State a little bit. I think you know he's a guy who can pretty much uh, do it all at the pro level. I thought that was one of the easiest selections in the entire team. How about your wide receivers? Wide receivers was a little tougher. There's a lot of good guys here you could go with. Um, I went with Jeremy Ebert out of Northwestern in that spread offense from Dan Persa. Dan Sanzenbacher from Ohio State. And a surprise choice went with Mark Dell. I just think now that he's been healthy, he had a lot of great plays down the stretch. He improved as the year went on. And there's so many quality receivers at Michigan State, it's hard for one guy to stand out, but I thought Dell really started to do that at the end of the year. So you went with three wideouts, you've got one running back, right? <laughs> That's right. Okay, I have two running backs, but I have Jeremy Ebert. I thought he was a tremendous player for Northwestern and really helped Dan Purse out of a lot of situations. And Tandon Doss, one of the best all-around players. Now there's some other players we'll talk about later when we talk about the near misses, and you mentioned a couple of them that would be on my list there. All right, what about your running backs? Running backs, uh, it was a fairly easy choice for me. I went with Mikel LaShore and Edwin Baker. I think those were the two top guys. Um, I'm, I, you know, It's hard to pick just one of those guys. If I had to, I would go with LaShore simply because he had more carries, 124 yards a game, 13 touchdowns. I think Edwin's a great back, but he did get some help at the beginning of the season with some relief and some other guys taking some shots. Um, but uh, you know, two outstanding backs can't really go wrong with either one. Yeah, I think Mikel LaShore really, emerged this year and was a dominant back in the Big Ten. Edwin Baker I thought was tremendous toward the end of the year, really took control of that position. Those are my first two as well. Although if you group the Wisconsin guys together, uh, it's amazing the number of yards they would have had. Well, what about your quarterback for 2010? This probably is going to be a very popular decision, but I went with Terrell Pryor out of Ohio State. I know a lot of people like Dan Persa and Scott Tolzien, but I thought of the three quarterbacks in the Big Ten championship uh, you know, title there with the one loss, 
I really thought Pryor was the best as far as leading the team, getting it done in crunch time. For me, when he won, it was that Ohio game, you know, fourth the Iowa game, excuse me, uh, which is the reason Michigan State is not playing for the Rose Bowl, as we know. Fourth and ten, he got the play on a 14-yard run, ultimately led the touchdown drive, and I just think he showed the leadership and the poise down the stretch, and uh, I really like what he was able to do for his team this year. I think you could make a case for five or six quarterbacks in this conference, and I went with Denard Robinson. I just thought that when you have close to 4,000 total yards and you set an NCAA record for rushing yards by a quarterback, there was one voter in uh, the media balloting who picked Denard Robinson as a running back. Didn't know that that's uh, possible, but that's what happened anyway. So those are our choices for the offense, and we'll be back in just a moment. We'll talk about the defense. And our players of the year on offense and defense, our freshman of the year, and our coach of the year for 2010.